experience. In terms of my second piece of advice for the actual exam, I would say that the CSS cases, which is something that is different from both step one and step two, which are pretty much live modulated patients that you need to work through and actually do orders and talk about what you need to do for following up, whether it's like in a week, in a day, and like whatever. The actual CSS cases, you can't just walk into the exam without properly knowing how is the setup going to be? How is the actual exam going to be? What are the different types of cases that they actually study? So utilize the one that is on UWorlds. And then I believe the MBME website also has their own mock CSS cases that you can do on there as well. So do as many cases as you can on there, because that's the one thing that I would say differentiates from step one and step two. So you don't want to just walk into the exam blind and not knowing how the setup looks like and what you should be doing on there. There is a video that I looked at on YouTube a long, long time ago. I'll see if I can find it and put it in the description box down below. But there's a lot of tips and tricks that you should be wary of to do for every single case for the CSS cases. That way you can get the best score as possible.